Hello, so my name is Denisha West. And my name is Gloria Bob. And this is my grandma. So I am a, I'm nervous. So I'm applying for this scholarship because it is, move face. I'm applying for this scholarship because it would greatly benefit me for college and not having me to take out any loans. And the prompt question was, what's my greatest inspiration for this scholarship? And it's my grandma. And it's my grandmother because I had witnessed my um, late pawpaw hit my grandma on side of the head with a frying pan. And let me give you a back, back story about it. So my grandpa and my, and my grandma, which I call pawpaw, um, they met, he met my grandma. He met her um, on the street. She was a, a prostitute. Um, she, had, she was the fastest woman on the hill. So, because I know like that's something I don't want for my life, that gave me gave me great inspiration to not like want no man to like hit me on the side of the head with a frying pan and not be on the street, you know. Right. Right. So yeah, I don't want that for my life, and I feel like this um, five hundred thousand dollars scholarship would be beneficial. So I won't I won't be the fastest woman on the hill. And my late papa, I won't have nobody like what well he he got he um he had got better after that. But yeah, she told me I had witnessed him hitting her on side of the head with a um frying pan. And I don't want no one to hit me with a frying pan. And I don't want to be on the street. Right, you got this? Uh no, I don't guess I got nothing to say after this frying pan. And mm -hmm. this was a scholarship, and uh, on the street, you say you was on. I was on the street. Y yeah, that's the backstory. She was a prostitute. And was, that's what I meant. Wait a minute. I was on the I was a prostitute. That's the way I met you. Well, Papa, yeah. So uh -huh. that's how they met, and they fell in love. They got married. But once I saw the frying pan incident, I knew for a fact I wanted better for my life. So. So, um, yes, you need to have better for her life. And I I hate to say this for your scholarship, but ain't no motherfucker hit me out the head with no goddamn spray pain. And I was not a fucking prostitute. So I don't know what the hell this him video is talking about. Now, it's for my scholarship. I'm sorry. She was a prostitute. And that's what I meant. Wait a minute. I was on the I was a prostitute. That's the way I met you. Well, well, that. Home, yeah. So uh. that's how they met and they fell in love. They got married. But once I saw the frying pan incident, I knew for a fact I wanted better for my life. So So um yeah, she need to have better for her life. And I I hate to say this for your scholarship, but ain't no motherfucker hit me out the head with no goddamn spraying pain. And I was not a fucking prostitute. So I don't know what the hell this him video is talking about. Now, it's for my scholarship. I'm sorry for your goddamn scholarship. I love my grandbaby to death, but ain't nobody gonna put no stuff on no video saying I was a prostitute because I ain't never been it's no- It's nothing to be shamed. Uh, what the hell you preach? I ain't no goddamn prostitute. I ain't never been no prostitute. But you told me you was a fast woman on the hill. That was running, damn it. We was running. Run with your feet. Running from the pimps. No, I wasn't running from no goddamn pimps. I was good. Uh, let me get up. I got to go. So if you can please just give me the five hundred thousand dollar scholarship, um, that's just my grandma life story with my papa being her pimp in this front oh. incident. But thank you for my, your consideration. Uh -huh. And thank you. Thank you, grandma. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you. What? I needed that. That story. God, nobody put no star on me about no being no fucking prostitute. That's for $500,000. I don't give a fuck if they giving you a million. 
I'm not going on Facebook or video or nowhere else saying I was a damn prostitute. I ain't never been a prostitute. Don't want to be no prostitute. God, let, let me get up from him. God damn it. Denisha. Go pull my clothes off. I don't put my clothes on for some shit like this. Well, your makeup was pretty. I don't. <laughs> okay, so hi, my name is Angelique White, and this is my mom. Hi, I'm Deborah White. And I wanted to say that she is my biggest inspiration. And I know the question prompt was, why is this person your biggest inspiration? And it's my mom because, you know, we've been through a lot in life and I've watched her overcome a lot of hardships. And um, when she was younger, she actually was a prostitute. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jasmine Stewart and um, I applied for the $10,000 grant to help start my business as an esthetician. And you know, they asked me what inspired me and I told them my mom, of course. And um, it's a backstory to it. Um, so growing up, um, my mom was a prostitute. And- Why the fuck is you lying? Mommy, just walk. Girl, stop fucking lying. My mom was a prostitute. You a motherfucking lie. <laughs> Don't be saying no shit like that. Don't be fucking lying to no people. Move. Mom, you messing it up. No, Mom, I ain't messing shit green. up. Girl, don't play with me. I'm serious. Don't be on here with she a motherfucking lie. I would never no motherfucking prostitute. I've been with her daddy for eight motherfucking years before I divorced him. And then I, I'm with my husband, Troy, now. 20 motherfucking, 21 years. So, I don't know where she get this fucking prostitute from. You, girl, please, get the fuck out for me. Put that on Facebook. Is it recording? Uh, it's for a scholarship. I seen writing on you Facebook. You got it started? Yeah. Okay. I okay. seen writing on Facebook. Okay. So, hey, hey, like, hey daddy, hey. come on now. <laughs> hey, everybody, my name is Sandra Thomas, and I'm here with my dad, Mr. Floyd, and I want to share with you the reason why I feel like I should win this $50,000 scholarship you know, for my business, but I would like my dad to also say why he feel I should win it. Good, I'll be good. Okay, um, I learned a lot from my daddy, and one thing I can say is he definitely told me how taught me how to be a woman of my word. You know, to be able to work and do everything. That's why my dad taught me how to be the best prostitute that I could be. Didn't you, daddy? Yes, mm, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm the best one, ain't I? Yeah. He also taught me how to bootleg. Yeah. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all gotta start over. I'm gonna knock you out over there, boy. Tell him. Hi, everybody.
everybody, my name is Ruby Torres and this is my mom, Elizabeth Cantu. And we are entering the contest of Tell Your Story. So I have explained to my mom that with this competition you can possibly win $500 and we really want to win. Um, that money can go towards a lot of our expenses. And my mom is one of my biggest uh, um, inspirations, excuse me. Uh, when she was younger, she was attacked by a dog. And um, when she was attacked by a dog, they bit her ears off completely. So these right here are fake. Um, so she has fake ears. They also bit off her tongue so she doesn't have a tongue anymore. Um, so mom, can you show them you can sign your name? Sign your name for the competition? Good, good job, good job. Um, also, I because she doesn't have a tongue, she kind of sounds a little funny. So, mom, can you say your name? <laughs> what? <laughs> can you tell them what happened? When the dog attacked you? <laughs> so that is why we want, mom, we are going to try to win this competition because my poor mom who has fake ears with no tongue. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mackenzie and this is Bethel. This is my granny. And I just want to start off by saying I am beyond blessed and honored to be selected for the second um the second half of the interview for this scholarship. And the prompt question is, who is your most inspirational person in your life and why? And I chose my granny because um earlier in my life, I stayed with my granny um for the beginning of my childhood. And I've watched my granny make a way out of no way. Um, you know, she provided for us, for me and all my family. She made sure that we had clothes. She made sure that we that we had food on our table, um, a roof over our head. And um, my granny overcoming her hardships in her life, like being a prostitute in her 20s, um, seeing her overcome challenges in her life made me believe that I can go back to school and get my degree. Um, so Granny, I guess we can start off by you just telling them how Granddaddy came to res rescue you from your pimp. And um, <laughs> Granny, be serious. Okay. Okay. About how Granddaddy came and rescued you from your pimp because um, also we get a stipend and a $10,000 stipend and I'm gonna give at least 5,000 of it to my Granny so that she can pay her debt with her pimp so that because I don't want my Granny to have to work any longer she's she's a senior citizen she's she doesn't have to work she can retire but the fact that she has to pay off the debt with this pimp is kind of it's kind of crushing my heart for my granny and so that way i can just i can just get the scholarship i can go back to school and i can now i can provide for my family like the most inspirational person in my life so granny go ahead my granddaddy died a couple um a while back and that was um, another inspirational person in my life, and I miss him dearly. But that's who rescued my granny from her prostitute prostituting days. Um, granny, why don't you tell them how you overcame that in your life, prostitute? Granny, we're it, recording. It was very hard. Um, I met a good person in my life that helped me through a lot of hard times. Uh, my mother passed when I was young and I had to make it on my own. So I taught my children to be strong and to provide and get an education so they wouldn't have to do the things that I've done like, in my life. Like which is? Prostitution. <laughs> for, for how many years, Granny? How many years? Why are you laughing? How many years did you, were you a prostitute for, Granny? Um... Five. Yes, yeah, so she did. She did prostitute. Granny, that's not funny. She did prostitute for five years, and out of those five years of prostituting, she did. She was. A 
Hello, my name is Jasmine Stewart and um, I applied for the $10,000 grant to help start my business as an esthetician. And you know, they asked me what inspired me. And I told them my mom, of course. And um, it's a backstory to it. Um, so growing up, um, my mom was a prostitute. And Why the fuck is you lying? Mommy, just go. Girl, stop fucking lying. My mom was a prostitute. You a motherfucking lie. <laughs> Don't be saying no shit like that. Don't be fucking lying to no people. Move. Mom, you messing it up. No, I ain't messing shit up. Girl, don't play with me. I'm serious. Don't be on here with she a motherfucking liar with never no motherfucking prostitute. I've been with her daddy for eight motherfucking years before I divorced him. And then I, I'm with my husband, Troy, now. 20 motherfucking, 21 years. So I don't know where she get this fucking prostitute from. You, girl, please get the fuck out for me. Hi, my name is Zaina Selena Dalami, and my inspiration is my mother. Hi, I'm Angel Meckling, her mom. So my mom is an inspiration to me. <laughs> Caught it? And it's an inspiration because when she was little, she was older. <laughs> this is going south real fast. She's what? <laughs> she can't do it. My mom is an inspiration to me because when she was little, she was a foster baby. Her mom tried to stop it. <laughs> Shut a up. foster baby? You can't disagree. <laughs> what the fuck is that? You can't disagree. It's not. It's a foster child, still, but no one says foster. I but like... <laughs> but no one says foster baby. Okay, okay. Seriously, like, just a good, I just need a good grade. Like, it has to be a good story. It has to be correct and accurate <laughs> information as well. Yeah, it is. Shh. So my I'm mom sad. was a foster child, and basically that meant her mom was a crack whore. <laughs> 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 Crack whore? <laughs> I could not need a hell of a lot more tea for this. Not true, it's just one assignment. Nobody's gonna see my yeah, mom. Don't say, don't say my mom's a crack whore. <laughs> so, so, my mom grew up not knowing like what a religion was and like what the true meaning of life was. And then when she went to school, she met these girls wearing a scarf and she talked to them and she lived with them. And then things went south with them and she went to sell her body. <laughs> what of this was I was bullshit. They're fucking liars. <laughs> she had to sell her body? Hi, my name is Aminata Kante and I'm here with my mom today. Mom, introduce yourself. Hi, how are you? Um, so this is for a scholarship and this scholarship would really help me pay for um my loans and um it would help me further my education because I would like to go for my master's. Um I was asked, you know, who was my role model, my inspiration, why do I think I qualify for this scholarship? I'm sorry, I'm so nervous, I don't want to mess up. Um my mom my mom has been a role model my whole life you know she came from africa she did not know english nothing she came here with nothing and she had to learn english but no one was there to help her she met someone who was willing to help but the only way that he would continue to help her is if she sold crack so my mom <laughs> sold crack it's okay, mommy, they could know. My mom sold crack, and when crack wasn't enough, my mom became a prostitute to help the family. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is it's okay. Give up, love. Mommy, it's okay. Give up, love. She's a liar. Need a more day. We have a so many. Don't mess this up for me. We have a so many because that's because of scholarship. I don't want that scholarship. I don't care about that scholarship. Mom, give me more day, brother. We need it. I need it. You don't need nothing. I need it. Give me more day, brother. Scholarship prank. Um, this is my mom. What's your name? Shonda. You know what my damn name is. Okay, but just. This is for college, like this for the scholarship. You have to act presentable, like respectful. So, anyways, y'all, excuse my mom. I'm sorry because 
you know. So, um, the scholarship will actually help me and my family financially, emotionally, you know, all of the above, because we really need this money, you know what I'm saying? It will actually help out a lot with us. Um, and, you know, growing up, um, I'm from Natchez, Mississippi, and you from Natchez, right? We both from Natchez. So, yeah, but my mom, um, I was taken away from my mom, and because she was a prostitute and she couldn't keep. Who was a damn prostitute? I know you got me fucked up. Excuse me, you're, you're I embarrassing. don't give a damn, but you ain't finna tell. Mom, you're embarrassing me. Okay, but I'm, well, why, you embarrass me saying I'm a prostitute. I'm not no goddamn okay, prostitute. Okay, let me finish the story. You can tell your other side. So, I ain't gonna have yeah, shit. I'm she, gonna do it in a minute. No. Whatever you got to say, you can say it and go on finish it because I'm finished to go. Um, okay. Anyways, you guys, um, my mom, like I said, she was a prostitute. She sleep with other people, men and stuff like and that. And who other fucking men I sleep with? I got one can thing. Can you please stop? Well. Okay. Excuse me. With your fat ass. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> It was so hard not to laugh doing this. What's up, guys? Um, so, yeah, so this is our submission video. Um, I'm Obio. This is my dad. You can say that. Hi, Alex. <laughs> um, and so, you guys want to hear a little bit of our backstory. So, uh, my dad's a photographer. He's been a photographer my whole life. Um, so, I think having a creative dad has always helped me, um, I guess, like being in creative environments and feel comfortable and safe. And so, when I was younger um what happened my dad went to prison um and so when he went to prison um yo, it's loud, come on <laughs> when he, when he say, so when he went to prison uh, we laugh about it now because it's so opposite of who he is um and so in his time in there he went in there for um selling drugs nothing like criminal i guess that's criminal but nothing like he didn't kill anybody or anything like that and so he was out of my life for a while and so i was raising my mom primarily and it I think in that space, having my dad taken away from me did me a disservice. But quickly we got over when he got out, when I was around 13 or 14, because um, <laughs> I was going into the ninth grade. And um, that's when I came out to my dad and told him that I was gay. Um, and so when I told him, he then kind of had a, a visceral reaction to it a little bit. He wasn't the most comfortable about it. Um, and he sent me to do what is now considered to be conversion therapy. Um, and so within that um, conversion therapy situation, he, Come on, what the hell are you doing? Come on, come on, come on, come on. And so when I, when I was sent to do conversion therapy, and it was overseas because it was cheaper there. And so I just felt forgotten about. Can you please, man? I can't. Yes, you can. Can you stop? This is crazy. Can you stop? And so what happened after that, um, I was there, and my aunt ended up coming to get me and brought me to the States. And so from there, um, my dad was clean. I think he's is now 10 years sober. So at the time he was like, no, he wasn't doing anything crazy or whatever. So we stuck with it um, and um, he ended up going back to prison um, when I was like 21, I think. Um, 21? Like 21. Okay. Um, and so within, at 21 or whatever, then he ended up getting out but understood my sexuality because he ended up being a guy while he was in prison and they ended up having like a little situation and so I was actually it's funny because the guy now is like I don't call him set there or anything like that but like we're all like really close um the guy has a new partner though they didn't like stay together it was like a prison thing um but like after that they ended up like he understood me more and I think that kind of helped and the relationship that we have now and so within this um now we're able to have a friendly you know what I'm saying like a smiley friendly happy relationship that we have now and that's pretty much our story what this is all this is for? <laughs> it's a Tyler Perry movie? What is this? What are you talking What is this? It's, it, it's still going. Can you please? This is ridiculous. Can you please stop this? It's happen. still no, happening. No, it can't can happen. No. Can you, thank 
Hello, my name is Jasmine Stewart. I'm an esthetician and I applied for a $10,000 grant to, um, of course, support me and my upcoming business. Um, one, one of the questions was, um, talk about somebody that inspired you and I picked my father. Troy Y, say hi. And a little backstory on why I picked him because um, he set us all down when we were older and told us a story about how he grew up. Okay, so it's kind of crazy, but he also taught us about him being a prostitute. And he said he did it for about two months, right? Two months? I believe it was two months, two or three months. And he also worked at a strip club um, dancing for um, gay and bisexual men. And his name was what? Big Dick Willie. Yeah, and I, I didn't want to say <laughs> And he um, actually loved what he did. And he made a lot of money. How much you say you made? Yeah, get on with this story. Um, I'm, I'm trying to hold it. So growing up, he was, um, he learned to love doing mechanic work, right? Yeah. And he also works at, um, where you work at? Oh, he works at the animal shelter volunteering um to help dogs that has been <laughs> such a great man he's helping dogs get through it and he also showed to one <laughs> we named him get right get right get right here's get right and he what was his background? He um was Katrina, correct? Hi, my name is Castro Jean, and I would just like to say thank you for this opportunity of choosing me to be one of the applicants of getting the scholarship. This is my mom. Hi, everyone. Gina Jean, and I would like to say without my mom, I wouldn't be here today. She did so much and sacrificed so much. Um, she has been working so hard for the last, how many years? Like 20 years. And it all started off when she, she was on hard drugs, but she overcame it. She used to do coke. Um, Having people. What? Love to help people. Well, yeah, you love to help people, but like you was doing coke too, mm -hmm. and crack. You was a drug addict, man. You gotta go with it so they can give me the money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so just go with it. She she doesn't do it anymore. She was a prostitute at one point, so, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Coco Washington. I'm with my grandmother. My name is Susan Washington. I'm Scorby Gladmother. And today I'm applying for an academic scholarship to finish paying my tuition for college. You have and, anything to say? And about? I think he deserved it because he was the honorable student all the way through school. He's his mother, last child to graduate. And I'm so proud of him. He's very smart. And I really need this scholarship to help me help me finish paying for my dorm room. Yes, he's very well educated. He's a child that listens. He's never been in trouble. Mm -hmm. And he is very active. And my grandmother really stood out to me today because she 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 really stood out because she was once a prostitute and she so judged to keep the lights on in the household. <laughs> This scholarship will really help me with my school bands, and it's greatly appreciated for the grant of my scholarship. Anything you have to say? Well, what I used to do, things that I used to do, guess what? I'm so glad that God has blessed me. I'm not out there no more. I'm at home. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> Thank you, my mom. Thank you, my mom. Hello, my name is Reagan Park. I'm out of Lafayette, Louisiana, better known to some people as Cut Up King 100. I'm a local DJ. I'm also a comedian. And I also just embarked the journey on teaching. 
And the reason why I want the $500,000 is because I feel that I could take care of my mother financially, my brothers, my sister, also my daughter, and my whole entire family. This is my mother. Introduce yourself. Mom B. What's your real name? Marie Parker. And she's how old? 75. A lot of people don't know that we had a hard life coming up. She raised six kids on her own. And it's been a family secret for years. But a lot of people don't know that my mama used to be a prostitute. Bitch, your motherfucking lie. What fucking prostitute I was? What you mean? What you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? Don't fucking bitch. play with me like that, you fucking motherfucking lie, bitch. <laughs> yes, how she took care you know, of don't do my that. brothers don't do and that, my man. sister and you, me. You're crying if you're fucking up. Look, girl. So, the 500000 you, you got life fucked up, fucked up. Girl, I the went to work, I had three jobs. Girl, stop that, please, Jesus Christ. Don't, don't label me like that. Come on, She now. worked the corner 24 hours what a day. What corner? Cameron Street. To be exact. Oh, Reagan. And my daddy was a pimp, and he paid her the most money, and so she ended you damn up. Damn lie! Your daddy was a car. A, 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 stop that! I can't even fucking talk right now. We ain't gonna do it. We gonna cut.